follow up with the talk before the type. You all understand what I'm talking about, don't you? The type, the email, etc. Can I introduce you to the concept of the virtual coffee? <laughs> the virtual coffee is when you want a meeting with somebody, maybe a long way away, and it's probably not worth traveling. Let's have a coffee. You sit in your office, I'll sit in my office, and let's talk. Do you agree? I often wonder what percentage of people talk rather than type in this. I bet, it's, I bet there's less talk and more type. I love the concept of the virtual coffee. That's me sitting in, Car in Carluccio's in uh, Manchester at the Piccadilly station, having a meeting. Look at this. Over the years, I, I work often with r academics, with accountants and lawyers, people who like a process. Most of us like a process. There is the process. When you accept the invitation, thank you, you've started well. You meet people, you start to build relationships, you start to ask questions. A lot of you have got to that spot tonight. If you ask the right questions, sometimes, by the way, these slides of which there are about 90 are all available to you when you write to me. I've got loads of free gifts to take home, all right, everybody? One of them is this, and one of them is my 28-page uh, pocketbook, and a lot of this in here we're not covering tonight is all about how to work the room, okay, everybody? So we're not covering that, but it's all in here. And for those of you that haven't yet learned to read, I've got some great news for you. It's nearly all in pictures. <laughs> so if you spot a need, if somebody says to you tonight, I'd like to know more about that, or we're not happy with our existing accountants, or, oh dear, I didn't know that. That is called the aha moment. The aha moment, ladies and gentlemen, is the measure as to how effective your networking has been. And if you spot an aha moment tonight or any other night, I want you then to make the follow-up. And I'll keep repeating it. I want you to make the call and then meet the prospect. Now, here's my first quiz. Would somebody be brave enough and tell me, of those eight steps, which is the most important? Who said that? Man at the back. Sir, because you got it right, if ever you're interested in coming free on my hot full half day workshop, you're more than welcome. Okay? Good. Don't forget to come and see me afterwards and we'll uh, give you the voucher to come free. That might encourage the rest of you to talk to me. Is that okay? <laughs> of course, bribery, Al. <laughs> you see, for those of you who want more business, the invitation, if you don't go, you'll never know. Isn't that right? For those of you who are in business development, who are self-employed particularly, you just have to go to events. I will go to the opening of an envelope in Manchester. If I'm in Manchester and I'm not doing training or speaking at conferences and there is an event, I will go. Even if it's not my target market, because remember this, everybody is somebody's somebody. There's one or two people here who are looking for work, who are looking for their next career move. You guys ought to be out once and twice and three times a day because you just never know who you're going to meet. Does that make sense, everybody? The pipeline. 